Today's a special day. Today I get my new car. So after this video blog, and actually during this video blog, you get to see my new car. Although on the inside it looks exactly the same as this car. And the outside looks very similar too, only it's red, not, not metallic, copper or bronze or brown or whatever this colour is called. Exciting! So yes, a brand new car day, a, uh, a Lexus 450H Premier. With absolutely every add-on and extra full body kit, 20 inch alloys, it's got everything. Every, every option is ticked in the, in, not, not at Lexus, they already come with everything, so there's not many options, but it's got a body kit and oh, it's fab. Um, it's one of these, this is one, but this is a 2016, this, the one I'm picking up is 2017. Also, this is a, a metallic bronze and I'm picking up a metallic red, pearlescent red. So it's a little bit different to this one. Uh, usually when you pick up a new Lexus, they do this like um, unveiling ceremony. They have a little spotlight showroom where um, it's by the side of the of the main showroom and they pull like a, they do like a reveal. So um, I'm not sure if they're doing that today. Sometimes you don't know until you get there, but we'll see now. I've been a fan of Lexus for some time now. They're supreme build quality, huge levels of luxury and gadgets and toys, phenomenal resale value and lately they drive, they used to be a little bit, a little bit pedestrian in how they drove, they've changed all that lately, ever since the LFA really and their cars are much sharper, even the, even this, the big RX is a, a nimble drive, shall we say. So here we are, Lexus Cardiff. Right then, let's go in and have a look. It's mine, I think it is. Okay, simultaneous video blogging and unveiling and everything. How exciting is this? So, who goes first, you? Well, yeah, I'm not doing anything, I'm just standing here with cameras. So. Thank you. Um, go ahead. Yeah. Behold my new car. It's so shiny. I know you all see my number plate and I'm probably going to get robbed. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do a little walk around. Although this needs a much wider lens because you can't get it all in. You can't, you can't, exciting you can't. It's around. Da, 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 da. It's so shiny. Options. I do love getting a new car. I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll start it up again. Okay. <laughs> Get it all in. Okay. Press the power button. All systems go, Michael. Right, it's on there. And you got stuff on here. Oh, they still haven't fixed that show map thing, which I really hate. And a heads up, and we've got the, um, Panoramic doodad. If I shut that, you'll see it properly. So you new car. Back in the middle. In my new car, on the windscreen mount, and they've got the microphone for my video blogging all set up. And look, it's exactly the same inside as the old one. But a year newer. Same chocolate and cream. Or cookies and cream. I don't know what they call it. Or brown and cream. I don't know. Same, same leather interior. Oh, many bovine friends died for this hand-stitched interior. Oh, they didn't die in vain. <laughs> Thank you, cows. A few little updates from the old one. I've now got, um, so the sat-nav, whereas before it was a satellite view, it's still a satellite view, but now I also have rear door cameras and rear quarter cameras. So when I'm reversing, I can actually see not just the front wide-angle view, but I can see the rear corners and front corners too, which is pretty handy actually. There's new new maps, new satellite system, although very similar. And they've upgraded the hardware, so it's a little bit faster. Actually, you can see it refreshing almost in real time. It was quick before, but it's so silky smooth now. 
let's see what else is new oh the you can't hear the central locking anymore before when you switched from drive to park you could hear it going is the central locking engaged and disengaged now it's silent they're like little hydraulic pss, pss. so that's nice you can't hear the parking brake engage either so there's a few little refinements that i've discovered so far but other than that it's it's the same car just with little tweaks i'm really happy i, I got a thing with lexus i had a permanent job and i wanted to start my own business and i shopped around because i knew i would need a new reliable car and i went and i didn't have the money at the time i was literally window shopping but i knew i would want one of them and i went to mercedes and i went to bmw and i went to audi and they were all they just treat you like tire kickers until you're going in with a bag of money so rude they just you know they're like i'll come back when you're ready to buy i'm like well okay but i'm making it you know I'm, I'm i'm looking i'm working out my budget and stuff arrogance just like dicks and i went to lexus and they were like yeah yeah well and they all worked out finance and they showed me figures they were so nice so nice incredibly helpful give me everything i need everything everything they gave me everything i needed they were just brilliant and so a few weeks later when i was in a position to buy i um i i went back and i stayed and i bought a lexus and they have the quality of service it's unbelievable it blows everybody else away nothing is too much trouble for them and i heard a story of somebody that had flat they bought an old 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 lexus 20 30 year old lexus one of the earlier ls's that a flat battery battery died on it and they didn't know what they needed so they phoned the main dealer to say what battery do they need because they, they'd broken down and the dealer didn't just tell them what battery they needed they went out recovered the car now bear in mind they didn't even buy the car from this dealer it was an old you know billion miles old 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 car they recovered the car took it back to the main dealer fitted the battery at cost and sent the guy said thank you very much so um that that level of customer service and that brand loyalty that they build in with every sale it's awesome it doesn't matter how old a car you buy it's a lexus and it came from lexus and they will treat it as something that's special so that's why i buy them i've been buying them and they get phenomenal resale they do because i'm a and because i've been buying a few i get very very low um, interest almost almost interest free it's so low the rx in particular has one of the best resale values on the market it's 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 regarded as the best suv so it's super desirable so yeah as i was saying um i, I was so taken by lexus's customer service that i promised a as myself as a life goal and b as lexus's as for their customer quality and their customer service quality that six years after buying after going self-employed every three years i would buy a new car uh, and upgrade and it, and in six years or three cars time it would be a brand spanking new one and last year I, I i reached that goal i bought the first brand new rx premier and i've just i just bought another one i said now i tend, tend to buy a new one every year it was so nice to tick that off the list to a, I made that commitment to myself that I would work really hard at my business to be able to afford a brand new Lexus every year. And also, I wanted to be a loyal customer to a company that you don't just feel like a face. They don't they don't see a bag of money. Well, I mean, I presume they're a commercial entity. They're not like a benevolent charity. But they do treat you as an individual. I get so many gifts and freebies, and they really treat you as if you're, as if you're important. And that's something you just don't get from the competition. Not not from my experience, anyway. Well, there you are. My car unboxing video. Unveiling my new car. Yay! Life goals. Please like, comment, subscribe, and like. I'm sure lots of people are going to say how much they hate Lexus and how much they love Lexus. It's all good. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, lovelies. Bye.